Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on the fight game. In every Manny Pacquiao fight, there has been peril, and therefore there is always glory in the triumph. War after war, Pacquiao delights his fans with his courage of fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with every opponent he faces. In boxing, preparing for battle is physical, and more often than not, plans are ineffective, but on the flip side to that coin, planning is also indispensable. For the large majority of Manny Pacquiao's career, he's worked closely alongside longtime trainer Freddie Roach. The epic trainer-student duo has become one of the most recognized in the sport, and its effectiveness is unquestioned. Of course, Boo Boy Fernandez deserves a mention, as he's not only been Pacquiao's co-trainer, but longtime friend. Pacquiao's resume is a long one. The only eight-weight division world champion, the only five-weight division lineal world champion, the oldest welterweight champion in history, the only boxer to hold a world title in four different decades, the only four-weight glamour division world champion, the only world champion to serve as senator. In boxing, Manny Pacquiao has broken so many world records, he likely has the world record for breaking the most world records. Pacquiao is still chasing more records. When he beat Thurman last year, he scored his 22nd victory over a world champion. If he wins two more, he will beat Floyd Mayweather's world record of 23. With over 70 fights to his record, his career is rich of highs and lows. It's had its ups and downs, but his fans have stuck by him all the way. Looking at Manny Pacquiao's career is like looking at a history book. Chapters upon chapters of glory and honor. Over a month ago, we made a video looking at some of the most electrifying moments of Manny Pacquiao's career. That video got over 30,000 likes, which is absolutely incredible, and a massive thanks to all of you who showed your support by liking, sharing, and commenting on the video. In this video, we make part two. Welcome to this video here on The Fight Game, where we once again take a look at some historic moments where Manny Pacquiao defied his opponents and shocked the boxing world. For this video, we start with one of the most significant victories of Manny Pacquiao's career, his glorious win over Mexican Marco Antonio Barrera. Going into this fight, Barrera was recognized as the lineal featherweight champion of the world. The general consensus in the boxing world was that this fight was going to be an easy one for Barrera. But Manny Pacquiao was the ultimate wild card. Barrera had a huge support, and fittingly, De La Hoya was watching ringside. The fight started with Barrera in the white and Pacquiao in the red. Pacquiao began cautiously testing Barrera's defenses with his lead hand in search for an opening to land his laser-like hard left hand. Quickly, Pacquiao landed the left, but then slipped. That was a slip. Pacquiao was down though. But then shockingly, the referee called it a knockdown. Pacquiao now with a massive mental burden before the end of only the first round. However, he had to stay focused, and that's what he did. Pacquiao got back to establishing his jab, and now and then he would slip the left hand in behind it. Barrera ended the round with a good body shot. Before we continue, let's take a look at this so-called knockdown. Pacquiao lands the left hand, but seems to trip over Barrera's lead foot. Upon closer look, we see that Barrera actually steps on Pacquiao's foot, resulting in Pacquiao falling over. It was indeed a trip, and shouldn't have been called a knockdown. Now let's hear what advice Freddie Roach had in the corner. Double jab, okay? Yeah. All right, don't let him lead you. Let's back him up with the double jab, you hear me? Yeah. With the double jab, left nice. hand. We hear that Roach is instructing Pacquiao to set up the left hand with a double jab. In the first five seconds, Pacquiao lets go of that same combination. And seconds later, the same again. Pacquiao also put his own spin on the instructions by double fainting before the left hand. This is a great example of Pacquiao's disciplined ability to take instructions. As round two came to a close, the heat began to rise. Pacquiao and Barrera began to scrap, and the fans were watching an early clash of wills. Right 
Going into round 3, there was a welt forming around the eye of Barrera, and quickly Pacquiao would score the first real knockdown of the fight. <laughs> With the crowd roaring, Pacquiao fought his heart out. The underdog was an underdog no more. It was all Pacquiao. As the rounds went by, it was the Filipino underdog who outfought the Mexican warrior. The speed in both the hands and feet of Manny Pacquiao shocked the American-Mexican crowd. Out of nowhere, this young man from the Philippines arrived onto the scene and now he was demolishing one of the division's greatest. The blitzing hand speed was piercing the guard of Barrera with ease. For every punch Barrera was landing, Pacquiao landed three. Then in round six, Pacquiao seemingly dropped Barrera. However, it was ruled a slip. Let's take a closer look. In slow motion, we can actually see that it should have been ruled a knockdown. So far, Pacquiao had been robbed of two points, but it mattered not to Pacquiao. His mental fortress remained intact, and he continued to bulldoze Barrera in the following round. It was the dawning of a new superstar, the coming out party. In round 11, Barrera would get knocked down with exhaustion from the sheer pressure Pacquiao would put on him. What many don't talk about is Pacquiao's fitness. His pace of fighting is almost impossible to keep up with. Pacquiao shortly would continue the onslaught, and Barrera's corner would finally step onto the ring apron to stop the fight. Pacquiao had done it. A legend was born in the ring that night. A superstar of boxing who rose from rags to riches. Pacquiao defied Barrera with heart and speed to score a technical knockout victory in the 11th round. Oh, I'm super touched to, to the eyes of the, uh, the people, but in myself, I don't want to, to be uh, higher than before. He, he means that he wanted to still be humble as he usually is. The victory sparked a media frenzy, and fans couldn't wait to see more from Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. For the next one, we go far into the past for old time's sake. We go back to over 21 years ago, to December of 1998, where he won his first world title. The fight took place at the 112-pound division, and he came up against Charchai Sasakul. Sasakul was a boxer from Thailand, and the fight took place on his home turf. At the time, Sasakul had 32 wins and only one loss. Pacquiao at the time had 23 wins and one loss. They both were fast boxers, and the combined 54 wins made the matchup very exciting. The fight started with Pacquiao pushing forward. We can see here even over 20 years ago, Pacquiao's straight left hand was the money shot. Good left hand there from Pacquiao. Just his in and out movement of the feet is something that's deeply rooted into his style. Deep flyaway title contest between the champion, Chachai Shasukul. And Manny Pacquiao has reached round, leaving that guard a little bit low at times as well. Left hand came through there. In the eighth round, Pacquiao got the job done with a hard left hand. What a bother hit. It looks like he's starting to puff a little bit, and down he goes. Well, there was a. We can see Pacquiao simply flicked the jab to measure up the distance. Then after that, he replaced it with a laser-like left hand. Manny Pacquiao's reign had officially begun. Manny Pacquiao forever defying the environment he's in, forever great. He'll go down as one of the greatest boxers of all time. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. If you'd like to see us make a part 3 to this video, let us know in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video here on The Fight Game.